Welcome, folks, to the Angler Call of the Wild. Um, and no, that is not clickbait. I actually caught 50 golds in a row, and we'll talk about that later if you saw the thumbnail. Um, this is kind of my first impression. I got the game yesterday, played about 10 hours. I completed about a third of the trophies for the game or achievements in the game. Uh, so I have played it some to know a little bit of what I'm talking about here today. Also, just keep in mind, these are opinions on the game as a first impression, folks. And we're going to go over the pros and cons of my first impressions of this game. First off, it's, it's, it's a beautiful game. It is a very pretty, um, eye-appealing game. Uh, I don't think anybody would have an issue with how this game looks. Also, the menu. The menu is really well done and super thought out and very easy for somebody new to the game. I was able to come in once I got my settings right, come in and catch fish right away, know what I was doing for the most part. Um, we'll talk about some of the issues it has later. Um Another thing is, guys, even though I'm putting this on the pros side, uh, the on the on the pros side, but even though there is only one map currently in the base game, there is Norway, which is a DLC as well. There is so much, um, as you can see, I've kind of went a fair about amount, and I can tell you that this map is huge. There is a ton of places to go. Um, and you're not limited to, even though it's one waterway, I think most people would be turned off by that. There's a lot of places to fish within this waterway. One of the great things about this a game, a real life customer? Come I in, really, come on in. Have a browse. okay, quit talking lady. Um, I really like the shop, including the souvenir section where you can get kind of like different currencies to buy different things. Uh, and you can see kind of pretty cool. I don't want to get it in too much, but the shop is pretty, uh, I really do like it a lot and it's pretty simplistic for the most part. Another few things I really uh, do like, I like that the game gives you missions. Um, a lot of this I'll compare to fishing planet cause that is the other fishing planet game I know. Um, but uh, just like, uh, I feel like the missions on here kind of may immerse you more than they do on Fishing Planet, although they do both have, uh, definitely have missions. This is one thing too here, guys, I really like uh, is the daily challenges. And this is something that uh, I can't believe Fishing Planet doesn't do, but daily challenges right here, uh, I really do like that and weekly challenges. Also, I really like, uh, the one thing I do really like is the legendary fish on how they have that done. If we go to our handbook here, uh, you can see uh, there's fish and they just randomly are active or not active to my knowledge right now, which is really cool. I do like that quite a bit. I know a lot of people may be complaining about the grindiness of this game, but I feel that's uh, I don't feel like that's really an issue. It doesn't feel that grindy to me. Uh, Fishing Planet has as much or maybe even more of a grind to compared to this game as well. And now for the bad things about the game, guys. Do not let the beauty of this game fool you on how predictable and simple the mechanics are of this game. It is actually way more ridiculous than I thought. Um, actually, we streamed this yesterday. You can go back and watch a stream if you want to. Um, early on, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't until later uh, that some of these things really came to show themselves. Uh, a couple things, guys. Uh, this game is pretty arcadey in, in, in a few ways. Uh, but I'm going to cast out... This is I'm not going to get into all the mechanics that are... <laughs> Not great, but I'm going to cast out here. And no matter what you do, every lure that you're using becomes a topwater lure. It goes straight to the top. You can see zero, zero feet on the right-hand side. 
And on the left-hand side, you can see that you're essentially, uh, your different actions of the lure are just holding a button. Um, it's super simplistic in the fact that the lure just goes straight to the top every time. It is kind of poor. The only way you can get stuff to sink down is jig heads um, in the game. I will try to insert some clips into here to show what I'm talking about, but the mechanics at times can be super predictable and oversimplified, guys. There's a mechanic that at definitely at first glance seems like if the fish is too big, it's just either going to spool you or reel you out. Um, and it's super predictable. I'll add clips here where you can see I was calling when the line was going to break right before it was going to break. Uh, it, it's just really not a good mechanic. Oh, this would suck if I lose it when it gets close. What? Ah. Uh. Mmm. I swear to God, if this one snaps me off close again. A few of them I don't really want to get into because it take a lot of time, including the hook size issue with how uh, it kind of spawns fish. And also... Uh, the spawning of the fish being predictable, not just with hook sizes, but how they can be exploited in the game. I want to show you guys something, and like I said, I'm be inserting some clips so I don't sound crazy in here. If you if you look at my profile, I only I have 126 fish caught, right? If you look in the top of my screen there, you can see I've got 59 golds, and I was able to, without even trying to, uh, just trying to assume how the mechanics worked in the game, I was able to catch 50 gold saugers in a row. And and it's not because, oh, I waited and just waited around for a gold. You can see the catch times here, guys, right after each other. Uh, 1733, so on. I'll add some more of these so you can see that I did, in fact, catch them the way I was saying. And if the game is that easy to break and understand the way it spawns, I feel like this game is going to have a ton of issues, especially with competitions. And if, if you don't think this is an issue, gold coins are currency, guys. So the people that are going to exploit the crap out of this game with already in nine hours, I've seen more exploits than I have in almost all Fishing Planet. Um, it's pretty crazy. If I can catch 50 of these in a row and actually get bugged out and stuck where I can't catch anything but this, like I did last night, it, it's a real problem, and, and a big problem. Also, I will not be showing how I exploited the system for spawning because I don't want it being done, and I did. It did, in fact, get reported. We did report it to Call of Wild Angler right away. Hopefully, it can be fixed. It is a pretty kind of a major thing, but as you know on the channel, I do not show cheats, so... Uh, we are definitely hoping that that will get fixed down the road. Another thing that I thought was going to be a positive and it ended up being a terrible negative uh, was the way the fish fight in this game. I thought, man, this is going to be really cool. It looks like they fight pretty good. And the fight is super predictable and it's about the same every time. You, you have three ways the fish is going to fight you. You either have where it reels in right away, or you have where it goes out to the 
end of your line and then it tires out and comes back in or you have it where it kind of goes out and snaps your or it goes out to as far as you can go and breaks your line and they all feel exactly the same it, it seems like it's the same thing every time i know that sounds crazy but it does it feels completely repetitious also that little blue flash you just saw during that last recording was not the recording that was actually the game there's a lot of visual bugs i mean there's a lot of bugs in this game in general and some of them are going to bound to happen because the game is new but man is there a lot of bugs in the game right now another bad part of the game is the multiplayer aspect sure there's multiplayer rooms but it that's it so you have a quick chat that you can talk to. You can't even really type and talk to anybody outside of these pre-made uh, things here. And there's no multiplayer function really in the game. There's no competitions. Sure, you can have somebody stand on your boat, but that's about it. <laughs> and and you can see other players. And that's about what it's limited to for multiplayer stuff right now. Another bad thing about the game is while the lake is huge and, and you have a ton of places to fish in, in, the, in, the, in the lakes, right now in the base game, there's only 21 fish, um, which isn't the end of the world, but it makes it even more limited when you factor in. It essentially has only eight different lures. Sure, there's different hook sizes, but they're the same lures. And eight or 12 different baits um, and then with soft plastics you have four different ones of them with tubes worms shads and grubs so you're really limited on what you have and i know the game is a beginning game guys trust me but if you want to compare it heads up to example fishing planet back eight years ago in 2015 on when i started playing on pc fishing planet had a lot more than this so I know people are going to make the argument that the game is new, but that didn't exist on that game, to put it as apples-to-apples apples comparison. As an overview, uh, the pros and the cons, I tried to keep about the same amount of each. Uh, but how do I like it? Now, keep in mind, this is my opinion, but I feel like the game has a lot of potential, guys. I do. I actually do. I'm not... If you think I spent $45 of my own money just to not like something and not want to play it again, you're absolutely crazy. Um, but the game has potential. The problem is, is I think for a lot of people that like really in-depth and, and not so arcadey and simplistic feel, this is probably not the game currently right now for you. Um, but it is, if you're a person that maybe struggles for example at fishing planet or or you want a more streamlined uh simple fishing game this is this is definitely this could be up your alley especially if it gets some work done with the bugs is it worth the money i don't know uh, that's not up for me to decide that's up for you guys to decide um i mean i hopefully this game has potential so i didn't waste the money i probably won't play it a whole lot till Obviously, the, a lot of the bug fixes and stuff like that are fixed. Um, but you have to keep in mind what I know is Fishing Planet, and that game gives you, or that game is free. Um, and if you compare apples to apples to Fishing Planet, some people aren't going to agree. Um, but uh, I think that there is not much of a comparison of free game versus a game that cost $45 for a very limited experience obviously people are going to have different opinions so go ahead put your opinion down below you know why guys i love reading them and i really hope this game uh gets better it has definitely have the potential it could be a really good game but anyway you guys have an amazing day folks and i'll see you next time have a good one